Thanks for joining me for today's short scale study. Today, concert C minor. Let's get started by addressing the notes that we're going to need for our concert C minor. We'll need a note D, E, F natural with our thumb in the front. We'll need G and A. Our key signature recommends a B flat. And then we'll also need a C sharp to make this a harmonic minor scale. And our top note is our D. Let's jump into number one, harmonic minor scale and arpeggio quarter notes. One, two, ready, begin. <laughs> the alternating fingers between the B flat and the C sharp that you need in that scale. Practice alternating between those two keys a few times before moving on to our next study. B, C sharp, B, sorry, B flat, C sharp, B flat, C sharp, B flat, C sharp. Get that fingering pattern under your fingers so that you can have success. Now let's move on to number two, eighth notes. One, two, and ready, and go. <laughs> Join me by playing the top part of minor chords. You'll need a B flat. One, two, ready. And let's blaze through the next exercise, pattern of thirds. One and two and ready and go. Now we'll move on to our chromatic pivot scale. The pivot note is A. Along the way we'll need G sharp, G, F sharp, F, E natural, here's a tricky one, D sharp or E flat. You got it. And then finish on D. One, two, pivot scale, and Next is our chromatic scale. D, D sharp, or the E flat fingering, E, F. I'm going to use my chromatic F sharp fingering today, and that fingering I, requires me to play the note F like I normally do, but I'm going to add these two side keys for F sharp. And then G, G sharp, A, ooh, A sharp, B flat. After the A sharp comes a B. Well, that one can't be B flat. That must be B natural. So I need my two pinkies for B natural. Then I lift the pinky for C. I add it back down on the C sharp key for C sharp. And then I finish with my high D. Going down the scale, or the flats, D flat is the same as C sharp. B flat, A flat is the same as G sharp. G flat is the same as F sharp. And E flat is the E flat fingering that we call the D sharp on the way up. So here we go, chromatic scale. One, two, ready.
much any time I play a chromatic scale that has an F and an F sharp, I'll always play the F sharp with the chromatic finger of my thumb in the back and then those two side keys. And I even use that on the way down for G flat and G, I'm sorry, G flat and F. So you can use that too and that'll make you a better player. Let's finish up with the chorale. I'll play the bottom. Here we go. Watch out for B flats. And one, two, ready, and. found this helpful and I hope you enjoyed playing along. I hope you'll consider playing through this scale study and many more again soon. Keep practicing!